Delaney chopping it in on the left side. Moving in for Montreal, number 21, Jarvis. Now on the right side, Leach. It's off his stick there, Jarvis shooting it. And he had an excellent scoring opportunity. There's Chartrow with Kelly in the corner. And McAlarkey now taking over for Philadelphia. We're going to have a couple of penalties here. Bob Ganey and Bobby Clark are the two. And now here's Savard winding up for a shot off his leg, Dupont's leg. And good enough cleared it into the corner to Leach. He feeds it ahead. Good enough couldn't get it. And it is Robinson feeding it over on the other side. Here is Savard. Savard off the boards for Robinson. They are playing five. Giving a change here. Goal now. Goal has been credited to Barber. The second Philadelphia goal has been credited to Barber. So make it now read Barber from. No, I don't know who. I missed the assist. We can't hear the PA here. We apologize for some of our hesitation, but it is just very muffled at the point we are in this building. Now it's Bouchard ahead to Lambert. He hit Rise Brown. Dupont got enough of him to knock him off balance. And good enough, clear to the head, it's down the ice. There will be no call for icing that one off the stick. Now then, LaPointe, for checking for Philadelphia, the stick. Now then, LaPointe, for checking for Philadelphia, Chris, that goes to Lambert, out to Rise, right center. He hits the Philadelphia line, there's the shot. And Stevenson going down, got his butt. Now the Flyers' second goal now officially. Barber from Bladen and Dupont at 18.20 in the first period. Well, Ken Dryden received a big assist from Pierre Bouchard that time. Bouchard clearing Gary Darnhofer out from in front of the Canadian's net, and he really got him out of there. That's the kind of a thing that makes coaches happy. Reggie Leach, 19 goals. He has 24 points now. The record for playoff points, 27 points, 27 now Philadelphia with Barber twisting and turning in the corner. Barber still with it. He goes down. And the crowd reacts on that. Montreal clearing it out. And there's Blade Black at the line. Over it goes to Joe Watson. Watson feeds it ahead on the right side. Robinson going in for Montreal. And in there, Philadelphia is Leach. Now Barber going after Robinson and forces him back. Robinson up on the left side. Here's Roberts. The Pedians line that Robinson laying it over to the side. Barber takes it for Philadelphia. Barber turning around. He takes a look. What's he going to do with it? The pass may go right here in front of good enough. But Robinson came up with a sparkling defense delay to get his stick on it. And the Flyers are back in their own zone with a minute and 35 seconds left in the Canadians' penalty. Here they come, led by Dupont. Leach, Barber, and Clark. Clark is over the line. Clark's on the break. Dober goes to good enough. His that soup for Brunner. And he is wrong. Bob Bobrovsky, what a save. What a half good for Bobrovsky. Wow. Sergei Bobrovsky has been tremendous in his home debut for the Blue Jackets. You see him come right out front for Bobrovsky. Here is Leach along the boards. Back it goes to Dupont. Barber takes a look again. Leach is in front. Dupont clearing it back in. There's Clark behind the net. Canadians trying to clear it out. Here's Lemaire having his difficulties against Dupont. And Clark keeps. Now the Canadians throw back to the attack. Philadelphia taking the lead 3 to 2. Shot is knocked out. Here's Peter Mahavli's trying to get it. Shot away. He's ridden in on the board by Shook. Now here's the body. And Shot, you can see, is playing without his helmet. Schultz and Mahavli are having words. Even. Well, the period had been played in very straight fashion up to this point, really. And there is our friend the Moose Head celebrating an extra special fight right now because his favorite hockey player has just scored. Dupont from Barber and Clark at 13.59. Dupont in front. Watch him as he breaks it from Savard and he's right there for the rebound. And there goes
goes the net. On the beach off. And Schultz on the left side, starting out with Zaleski up center to the Canadian line, and they dump it in there delicately, and Scott Hill will clear it out. Now it's McClure going to the right side. And he fired it ahead over the glass, over the penalty spot. And with five minutes and 17 seconds left in the second period, Philadelphia leading Montreal 3-2. to two. Dupont on the power play from Barber and Clark at 13.59. So penalties playing a key part of this hockey game. And the Flyers, who trail shots on goal at one point in the first period by 6 or 7 to 1, I think it was, have now evened it up. That's Philadelphia on the left, and it's 16-16 overall the point in the game. Face off in the center ice area. Here is Bridgman. He's bended by Savard. He's on the puck against the board. Gilmore, you know, as he talked to him in the first uh, intermission, he's had a long career. He's seen a few stumbles, intentional stumbles in his day. He wasn't going for that one. Bridgman didn't argue. Now it is Jimmy back on. Ganey is over the line, but from there was offside on the left wing. Live from the Spectrum in Philadelphia, the Stan Gup playoffs. So the points back in the box, and Barber's back out on the ice with Clark and Leach, and good enough. Dupont clearing it out over the line. Zaleski on the right side, runs into Robinson, and he's nailed on the board. In behind the net, Schultz took a check against the bird. Now on the boards, they fight for it. They try to get it loose. They struggle. Where is it? Cornwire looks. Jarvis moves in. Schultz is in there. And from what I can see here, he was getting that left hand against somebody. Well, Dave Schultz was widely quoted after game three to the fact that more of this, looking at what he was referring to, has to go on as far as the Flyers are concerned if they expect to make any headway. So he made good his boast right off the bat, and he is going to the penalty box, and somebody's going with him. The Canadians moving over there. It's going to be Bob Ganey. So, now, wait a minute. Ganey's, no, he just got as far as the door. He... Back to the referee, it's Serge Savard who's in the penalty box. Schultz and there's the, the announcement. Minor. Schultz off for Philadelphia and Savard. There it is, Dick, what you can see. Well, Schultz is ending up with double minor and Savard with one. Roughing is the call, and it all comes at the 29 second mark. Well, the teams will play five aside, and then the Flyers will be shorthanded, all things being equal. And so on this Sunday evening in Philadelphia, the Flyers trying to stave alive, and the Canadians wanting to wrap it up tonight. Face off to the right of Dryden for Philadelphia, Bridgman and Leach up front. But the all Canadians, LeVere and Rich. Now the Flyers again, blading at the line. It's over the line, back to center. Bridgman shooting it in there. What a tremendous shot by Leach. And what a score. Here come the Canadians, led by the for the right side. He fired it in. The Canadians now go in. Watson gets it up on the other side to Bridgman. Bridgman, a pass on the open left side. And it is LaPointe clearing it. Back it goes to LaFleur. Philadelphia leading Montreal one to nothing. LaFleur hands it off to LaMere. Ahead on the left side of Robinson. And now here's LaFleur going in. And Jimmy Watson takes over. Cleared it up to the line to Bridgman. Layton ahead into the...